Good evening. It's the Orlando Gardner coming at you. And look who decides to visit us in the garden. Alrighty. Well, I did a short, just a quick short, showing you guys and gals and sisters and brothers what's growing and yeah it needs to be cleaned up <clears throat> as a matter of fact all that needs to be cleaned up and that's part of the the clean up project i'm filming baby i'm filming so let me film so uh, uh, again i did the short showing y'all that this tree was in full bloom and what mango tree is this well it's not a mango tree <laughs> it's a peach tree like and peaches. you you what I, I know you do this peach tree is uf best um it is at its widest about mm, about five ten about f 12 to 14 feet wide and it's about the same height going up there. Uh, I have I have pr pruned this religiously. Hey, hey, that's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. You, you, listen. That's a cactus. That cactus will hurt you. You better be careful. Oh. So, I've had this tree for quite a few years. Um, I initially started with Florida Prince, as most people do, because the name is attractive. Florida, because we're in Florida, and then Prince. It's attractive. But the thing about Florida Prince is it takes quite a few chill hours uh, in order to be extremely productive. This particular tree doesn't take as many as Florida prints. And my Florida prints, if you look back in the older videos, it used to be right here. It was planted right here, right behind the Glen tree. And it's actually, it was before the Glen tree ever got here, uh, actually. Uh, but what I had did, I had purchased trees according uh, to the particular time that they produce buds and fruit because I wanted to have fruit for the whole peach season. There's a season just like mangoes. You don't get mangoes, uh, just mid season mangoes, which most mangoes are. A lot of them are mid season. You get, you know, the beginning of the season, mid season and late season. Well, what I did was I got Florida Prince because it would produce first. And then I got UF best and that's UF best. And there's another one hiding back there. You'll be able to see it coming soon. Don't worry. Coming soon. Coming to a theater near you. <laughs> but you can see it right here. And it's in full effect. Yes, it is. So, I have uh, Florida Prince. UF Best. UF Best. And then Florida Grande which is right here. Uh, and so Prince would produce first and then these two trees. And then this is the last of the last. Uh, I am very much disappointed in Florida Grande. I still have it. It's probably gonna leave here and probably a dwarf mango tree will go here or whatever. Uh, and it might, that might not even happen when the house get built, I'm not sure. But UF Best is perfect for growing in Central Florida. It only take like 100 to 150 chill hours. So you almost guaranteed to have peaches every year. If you prune it, because uh, peaches grow on new wood. They don't like old wood. And as I've said in videos in the past, I had to learn the hard way on how to treat a peach tree because I thought you could just let it grow and let it go and then it'll do its thing. But that's not the case. When I first got my, my trees, you know, they produced like 
you know, 50 to 100 fruit. And then the next year, there was nothing hardly. And I'm like, wow, what's going on? And then I visited a few peach orchards. And that's when I found out that you have to prune them severely. Now, there is a peach orchard down in St. Cloud, Florida. I forget the name of it. I haven't visited it in, a, in quite some time. And um, uh, he was the one that showed me exactly how to prune uh, a peach tree. But you have to prune it so it can get new wood so it can produce uh, fruit like like this one is about to produce. And I remember the guy telling me, and I'm telling you all, prune it till it hurts you. When you're looking at the tree and you're feeling real bad and you really, you're really feeling sad because of the way it's looking and how much wood you've taken off of it, then you've done a good job at it. <laughs> now this one, this one here, it, it could have it could have had even better pruning. Uh, for an example, if you look here, this here, this is dead wood. Watch this. See? That's dead wood. All dead wood needs to go. And just like uh, dealing with mango trees, all the branches that's going on the inside, you can snap them off. Get get all those off. I've done uh, pruning videos on, on peach trees in the past. But everything that's like facing inside you kind of want to clip that off any anything that's going in so you can have the center of the tree open for air circulation same as it is with mango trees and uh okay see over here all this wood all this wood got to go that's dead that's dead right there look at that so i'm gonna come in here and clean all this up after a while but all you guys know and gas, you know, over time, you know, things can kind of just go. Uh, but you see the tree is happy, it's healthy. It got a couple of hundred peaches on there. I will not leave all of them on here. Uh, UF Best is a huge, uh, uh, I would keep wanting to say mango. It is a huge peach. Like, yeah, like grocery store style, South Carolina, Georgia peach tree size. And they will grow on your yard. So I do recommend UF Best for your yard. It has the perfect, perfect growth habits. It grows fast. It produces well. Uh, it has excellent flavor. The uh, production is excellent. Everything about this on a scale of 1 to 10 is a solid 10. That you can't go wrong with UF Best. So uh, I'm very happy about these trees. Uh, Florida Prince did well here actually as well. And it, it did that because of those couple of hours of extreme cold that we would get from time to time. Uh, but I, I eventually got rid of uh, Florida Prince. And now I just have Florida Grande and UF Best. Um, it does take a little fertilizer, so you can fertilize. What I did was I mulched it up. As you can see, there's tons of mulch there, and it's breaking down, doing its thing. And uh, and then this time of year, you need to water it. You got to water it. When it has flowers and small peaches, you got to water it. And then uh, after time, you can, uh, you can wait till they become little peaches or you can start now every other flower knock off every other because if not i mean it look hard doing this but if you want those store-bought size peaches you're going to have to do this so that the those that are here won't take up all of the energy like that something got to go just take them off just trim it down every other every other uh flower and that'll give you larger peaches now if you don't want if you don't mind if you don't mind having golf ball sized peaches then you can leave them on leave them on and then come and pick you a little a little nugget but me i want a full size gardener peach <laughs> so i can bite into it and and enjoy this is the landlord gardener coming at you uh just sharing with you about uf best peaches uh i do recommend it for your yard uh, I probably would have had more by now, but I've had a problem with fruit flies over the last three years. And so I kind of slowed up as far as dealing with peaches. I kind of stopped, pumped the brakes, and uh, just I'm, I'm left with these three. 
and I'm fine with just that. I might do a little air layer, and I'm not sure. Uh, but um, great piece uh, they have in Central Florida for you, your family, friends to share. All right, this is Orlando Gardner coming at you. All right, y'all go ahead and subscribe and like. Y'all have a good one.